Well, today's Colorado trivia is why are seagulls in Colorado and not only at the ocean? The answer is the proper name for the bird is gull. It's not seagull. There's no such thing as a seagull. There are a variety of species around the world. The gull is best known as being a scavenger. Isn't that funny? All this time I thought it was a seagull. Anyway, keeping your eye to the sky, there's an upcoming event where everyone can enjoy some of the most beautiful home gardens in town designed specifically with birds in mind. Carl Brummett joins me now from the Audubon Society of Denver with more. Good to see you, Carl. Good to see you, too. So where and when does the Bird Habitat Garden Tour happen? Uh, it happens uh, on Saturday, July 23rd from 9 to 1, and it's going to be focused at our Nature Center and then in the Roxboro uh, neighborhood. I bet it's so. beautiful. That's a gorgeous area. It is a beautiful area. Can you give the me some of the highlights? Everything. Well, first you come to our nature center to get a map, yeah. um, and then you'll get to see our gardens at our uh, nature center. Um, and then you'll go to about four houses in the Roxborough area, and they're all very different houses, different gardens, I mean. Mm -hmm. um, the, the gardens are very different. Some are very lush, and some are more xeric or dry gardens, and then there's a rock garden. So there's a, we have a variety to show. Are these private homes they're allowing you to? Yes, yeah. That is really yes, good. What an very, opportunity. It's great, it's great. And should we bring our birding gear? You don't have to, but I would recommend bringing binoculars because you never okay. know what you'll see in the yards. And what does the event cost? The event, it's uh, for Denver Audubon members, it's $15, and for non-members, it's $18. How do we get tickets? Uh, you can just go to our website, denverautobahn.org. Okay, okay denverautobahn.org. It's at the bottom of your screen. You can also call 303-973-9530. And what is important for homeowners and even gardeners to consider birds when planting? Well, a lot of, with all the development that's going on in or a lot of urban areas, we're losing a lot of habitat. So this is a great way to create habitats where we've removed habitat and to give birds, you know, food, shelter, water, and the things they need so that we can continue to enjoy the birds here and not lose them as we lose, you know, to continue to build. One of my favorite birds I love seeing is the beautiful hummingbird. They're so oh, unique. Yes. Yes, they are. They're very unique. Uh, they're one of the smallest birds, a very tiny bird. Um, you can barely see their wings flapping yeah. unless you see a picture. But, um, you know, their wings are flapping so fast. And they're very, very fast birds. They have that long beak for getting into flowers. Um, and they have their tongue where they, you know, right. it's not a straw. Some people think that it's a straw, but it's not. <laughs> they have a little, they're the tongue and they're getting the Is nectar. that why the, the feeders are different for hummingbirds? <laughs> yes. Yep. Okay, that yep. makes so they sense. they stick their tongue, you know, their long beak into there to so get that, cute. The, the nectar. <laughs> <laughs> and what are some of the most popular birds that we can see this time of year? This time of year, uh, especially at bird feeders, you know, house finches, um, you'll see uh, black capped chickadees, uh, American goldfinches. Of course, in your yard, you'll see robins like we see here in this. Uh, yeah, black capped chickadee. I've never heard of that before. Oh, no, yeah, they're pretty common. I get them at huh. my feeder all the time. My goodness. And all throughout you know, the city. So, this has happened to me before, and I'm sure it's happened to a lot of viewers watching. If we come across a baby bird mm -hmm. in a nest, and maybe it's falling out of the nest, what should we do? Well, it depends. If the bird has doesn't have a lot of feathers on it, it doesn't have really developed wings yet, uh, you can actually pick it up and put it back in the nest if you can reach the nest. Mm -hmm. um, birds don't really have a sense of smell, so um, it's okay to touch them and put them back in the nest. But if you see a bird on the ground that's flapping around and try, looks like it's trying to fly and it's learning to fly, just leave it alone. Okay. Um, mom's around somewhere continually feeding that bird, so we just we get that call all the time. Well, I've always heard <laughs> if you touch a bird, yeah. then the mommy will leave it alone because it doesn't like that a human touched the bird. So yeah. that's not true. No, that's not true. Oh, I'm so that's glad you true. told me. So, okay. And if you want to take that bird, you know, the bird that's on the ground and put it up in a tree to get off the ground, you can. But you can. it's going to keep trying to fly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Mama kicked it out of the nest and said, come right, on. Exactly. It's You're time over to go. 18. It's time to hustle. Make your own worms. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> uh, give me some tips on maintaining our own bird feeders or maybe a bird bath. Uh, bird bath, I would just recommend continually, you know, washing it out and cleaning it out, fresh water every day. Um, for bird feeders, just keep an eye on it. If it's really wet weather, you want to make sure the seed at the bottom is not getting caked up and moist and it can get moldy down there. Mm -hmm. So it's a good idea every couple weeks just to wash your feeder out with a, you know, light bleach solution. Easy um, enough. Easy enough. Very okay. Easy. Before we close, let's go back to the big event. Yes. Tell me more about it. Okay, so it's our uh, Bird Habitat Garden Tour featuring about four homes with a variety of different gardens. It's uh, July 23rd from 9 to 1. Um, it's a great opportunity to get some ideas for your own yard. 
And this event is also good for kids, though. It's not just for oh, adults, yeah. right? Kids can go too. Absolutely, absolutely. And bring binoculars. You might see yes. some cool birds. You never know. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Carl. All right, garden and bird lovers unite! You can sign up today for a one-of-a-kind event. The Bird Habitat Garden Tour is July 23rd from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. at the Audubon Center at Chatfield. See incredible home gardens in the Roxboro area as well as the Nature Center. For details and to register for the tour, go online Denver Audubon. Org, or you can call 303-973-9530. That's 303-973-9530.